Tina Spalding Trance Channel here today for our daily Course in Miracles lesson together. Thank you for joining me again today. Today uh, we are still in a review period. We are doing lesson number 206. I am not a body, I am free, for I am still as God created me. And we are reviewing lesson number 186. Salvation of the world depends on me. I am entrusted with the gifts of God because I am his son and I would give him I would give his gifts where he intended them to be. I am not a body, I am free, for I am still as God created me. And that is our lesson for today. Lesson number 206. I am not a body, I am free, for I am still as God created me. Let's see what Jesus has to say to us today. You are blessed beings indeed. I am that one that you know as Jesus and you all have very wonderful and specific gifts. Some of you are singers, some of you are writers, some of you are wonderful parents, some of you are amazing athletes, some of you are inventors and scientists. You all have a particular thing that calls to you. Some of you may have several things that call to you. There is no one particular pattern that is good and only that is good. You are all good. But you will notice that as you become more educated in this society, as you become more funneled towards work, earning money, that many of these passions fall away from you and they become but a distant memory. It is time now in your Earth's evolutionary journey for you to begin to reclaim these parts of yourselves. They are intentionally removed from you. You will notice that there is not a lot of time in your school systems for dancing and singing and painting and riding horses and all of these sorts of things. Yes, sports are encouraged, but in a particularly competitive way, focused on being picked up by a sports team and earning lots of money. There is a distortion to it that is being used against you. But for those of you that have left your passions behind, we want you to begin to reclaim them. We want you to go back to a time in your memory where you know that you love to draw or you know that you love to run or you know that you loved to dance. And we want you to do that again. Yes, you may be older. Yes, you may be out of shape. But you can do all of these things in some form or another, even if you are incapable of standing up and you love to dance when you were younger. You can put some music on and move the top half of your body. You can stand next to a chair and hold yourself up and begin to move your body and your body will respond because you are speaking to your soul. You are speaking to that deep, deep part of you that came here to express itself, to be creative, to extend itself. And that is what love does. Love takes many forms and one of the forms it takes is passion for life and passion for those particular talents and interests that are yours and yours alone. So do not think about the money that will come from doing it. Do not think about the art sales that will come from doing it. Do not think about the figure that you have that you feel that no longer suits that passion. But begin to imagine, if nothing else, begin to imagine yourself doing those things again and you will begin to feel a little flicker of life returning. You will begin to feel some passion coursing through your body. You will begin to feel a little bit younger. It is passion and it is love and it is self-expression and it is freedom that causes vital life force to course through this body of yours. You come in with it, you see it with young children laughing and playing and tickling each other and just having a grand old time of just being themselves and slowly but surely it is removed from you systematically by programs that do not care for your spiritual evolution. Do not, under, do not underestimate the power of physical movement and creativity in your spiritual journey. Do not make it an academic study only, but an experiential one. I am that one that you know is Jesus, and I will speak to you again tomorrow. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.